A smartphone is thrown upward from the top of a 240-foot building with an initial velocity of 32 feet per second. The height h of the smartphone after t seconds is given by the quadratic equation h equals negative 16 t squared plus 32 t plus 240. The question is, when will the smartphone hit the ground? So the important thing here to recognize is that when the smartphone is on the ground, the height is equal to zero. So again, h equals zero means the phone is on the ground. So to answer this question, we need to set h equal to zero and solve for t. So beginning with our equation, we'll set h equal to zero. So we have zero equals negative 16t squared plus 32t plus 240. Let's see if we can solve this by factoring. So the first step is to factor out the greatest common factor from the right side of the equation. Notice that 16 is the greatest common factor of the first two terms. So we need to determine if 16 is a factor of 240. It is a factor of 240, but to check this, we can divide 240 by 16. There's 116 in 24, one times 16 is 16. Subtract, difference is eight, bring down the zero. There are five 16s in 80. Five times 16 is 80 with the remainder of zero. So now we know 16 is the greatest common factor of these three terms, but because the t squared term is negative, let's factor out negative 16. So we have zero equals negative 16 times the quantity. We factor negative 16 out of negative 16 t squared. We're left with t squared. We factor negative 16 out of positive 32 t. We're left with negative 2 t or minus 2 t. If we factor out negative 16 from 240, we'd be left with negative 15. And we can always check this by distributing. Now the next step is to factor the trinomial inside the parentheses that has a leading coefficient of one. So if the trinomial factors, it'll factor into two binomial factors. And because the first term is t squared, we have a factor of t here and a factor of t here. To complete the factoring, we need to find the factors of negative 15 that add to negative two, which would be negative five and positive three. So we have t minus five and t plus three. Again, negative five times positive three equals negative 15, and negative five plus three equals negative two. And because this product is equal to zero, either t minus five equals zero, or t plus three equals zero. So t minus five equals zero, or t plus three equals zero. We won't get a solution from the factor of negative 16 because it does not contain a variable. To solve for t here, we'd add five to both sides. We have t equals five. To solve for t here, we subtract three on both sides. We get t equals negative three. But remember, t represents time in seconds. So while t equals negative three does satisfy our equation algebraically, it's not a solution to our application. So now we know the smartphone hits the ground after five seconds. Therefore, we enter five here in the answer cell. Now check our work graphically. Here's the graph of the given function over the domain, which is the closed interval from zero to five. We know time can never be negative, so time starts at t equals zero, and after five seconds, we can see that the phone hits the ground. Past five seconds, the height would be negative, which also doesn't make sense for the application problem. So algebraically, we found this point here which should be the point five comma zero, meaning after five seconds, the height of the phone is zero, meaning the phone is on the ground. I hope you found this helpful.